Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through a PowerPoint, a very plain PowerPoint, but I want to show you how to add voice narration to the slideshow. You would do this when you have to send a presentation, but you're not actually going to be face-to-face -face with people to present it to, where it be a company setting, or maybe you're doing an online class and you need to present a PowerPoint via the online class. So this might this would be a way to do it. So we have just like I said, our basic PowerPoint slides here, uh, one I've already done on, on um, a certain project. So we want to go up to the Slideshow tab, so go there, and you'll see under Setup, you have Record Slideshow. So click on that. Your choices being start recording from beginning or start recording from current slide. And you don't have to run through it from first slide to last slide. You can pause along the way and then and then revisit it and continue on and with the sound file. So um, it probably is better to do as many as you can at one time to keep the flow going, but you don't have to. Now, since I haven't done any sound files with this one, and yes, you can always delete the sound files because most likely you'll mess up a few times, and that's okay, everybody does. Um, but as you mess up, just delete that sound file and start again on that particular slide. So, um, plenty of flexibility with this particular uh, skill. Now, start recording from beginning, obviously, because I have no sound files on this so far. So, we'll start it. And it says, um, select what you want to record before you begin recording. And I, I want both slide and nar animation timings to display and narrations and laser pointer. Which, I'm not really using my laser pointer, but I am the mouse itself will kind of point to certain things if you want it to. So we'll hit start recording and the slideshow has begun and then I can start narrating it. Making your old iPhone your newest portable webcam via FaceTime. We will accomplish this in six simple steps. Now it's recording everything I'm saying right now, whether it be just my instructions to you on how to narrate or actually narrating the actual facts that need to go along with the PowerPoint. Because with PowerPoints, you always tend to narrate more than you actually have on the screen. That's the way it's supposed to be. So here I describe step one, update your old iPhone 4 or later to the latest iOS version by connecting with your computer to update. Once that update has been made, then you get a step two. Step two involves jailbreaking the old iPhone 4 using this certain software by going to their website. It does void the Apple warranty, but you're probably not using the old iPhone anyway, so follow their evasion directions. Now I move on to step three. And as you can see, as I've been narrating this, I've had a recording window up in the top left corner. Now at any time I can pause and it tells me um, you know, how many minutes um, I've had going total and how many minutes or seconds I've probably been on this slide. So at this point I can just hit pause and it says recording pause, resume recording when I'm ready. Okay, And um, I can do all that. I can, um, when I'm ready, I can continue on and just continue on with my next steps here. Uh, I'm talking about a new app that you download after you get the jailbreak is complete. Um, and just continue, I would continue on with my normal narration like I was just right in front of my audience narrating this PowerPoint as I go. Okay, so I'm going to click through this, but uh, just to let you know that's kind of how it all works. And it should plant the audio into the right slides, like the actual slide you were on at the time that you said that. So that's the last slide there. And we can see now that it, once we finish, it takes us to the slide sorter. And you notice on each slide that has sound involved, there's a little sound symbol. That's important. Um, you can, to edit, like if there was just a slide you really didn't want anything on, let me go to the last slide because I was just, uh, I wasn't talking about the slide then anyway. If I want to get rid of all the audio that I have recorded for this slide, I can just um, click to get that square over the uh, sound symbol and I can hit delete on my keyboard and that will make that sound go away for that slide. 